Hey, good day guys this is Chibuzo Ango and you're welcome to blogging for tech channel and in this video I'll be showing you how to disable WordPress plugins from your um, cPanel and this is the best option you should be looking out for when you don't have access to your admin dashboard just like myself so I'm experiencing this difficulty and I want to solve this issue so if you're facing the same problem then this video is just for you so in this video I'll be telling you why such error normally happens and how you can solve them so Sit back, relax, and we'll be right back. You are welcome to Blog Infotech YouTube channel. So you're welcome back from the show. So like I said from the start, Blog Infotech is the name of this channel. And in this channel, we do, do shout tutorials from the technology world. And we also cover some important information, such as reviews. And we also talk about cryptocurrency in some segments. So if you want to be part of this family, I will play on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, which is that red rectangular button below this video you're, watch, you're watching. And also turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release similar video just like this. So having that, having done that now, let's get back to business. So um, actually, like what normally causes this issue? If you'll discover, um, this issue normally arises whenever there is an update in some certain plugins that you have. Maybe you update your plugins and you wouldn't have access to your admin dashboard for instance i am experiencing this difficulty in one of my sites so yesterday actually um there was a release of wordpress update that's wordpress 5.9 i updated my um wordpress size three of my blogs actually so but i noticed that this difficulty is only occurring in this one so what's the problem was the cause so i've refreshed severally i tried to refresh severally to see if the problem with ease but the thing still persists so now was the cause but i was so happy because um wordpress has made it easy for me to actually know um the cause of this problem so you can see this actually sends me an email to my admin email so he said um your site is experiencing a technical issue so he said howdy well since wordpress 5.2 there's a built-in feature that detects when a plugin or theme causes a fatal error on your site so um sites uh, and and it notifies you with this automated email in this case so in this case wordpress caught an error with one of your plugin which is what rank mat seo so actually this is a plugin that is causing this conflict in my site making it unable for me to load my admin dashboard and i can't even access my site viewers can't even access this very site so in this video let's uh, let me walk you through on how we can solve this issue so the first thing you have to do like i said since you can't um, log into your admin dashboard in order to disable this plugin the next option is to go through what's your cpanel so as you can see i've already logged in into my cpanel of my website as a whole so of my host and this is how it looks like and um, your cpanel might actually look a little bit different but we shall be looking out for the same thing so in this case i'm using a um, name cheap hosting and this is how the cpanel normally appears so now once you've logged in to your cpanel um dashboard the next thing you look out for is what files just like this yes and we shall be using our file manager as in this case we want to locate the plugin from the file manager and try as much as possible to either disable or deactivate it so now once you locate your file manager like i said um, the display in your own case, it depends on the host you're using. It might be a little bit different, but what you should be looking out for is what's file manager. So you click on what's file manager. And it will have to open to display your um, the folders and files on your site. So um, if your site is on the main domain, then you have to go to the public um, folder. But as in this case, this very site that I'm working on is on a subdomain, so I should be looking out for the site. So this is a site and you don't have so you click on the site it is a subdomain but if it is in the main domain you have to go to the public um html folder so now we are on the site so i have to click on the site it's loading so um once you open the site the next folder you should be looking out for is what this folder called wp content so you have to click on wp content for it to open um, the folder that is within it so now once the folder has opened as you can see from this display you now have to double click on the plugin plugins folder since um, um wordpress has made it easy for me to locate the 
the plugin that is causing this conflict, which is what Rank Math SEO. So that's the plugin we shall be looking out for. So it has saved me the hassles of disabling and plugging one after the other in order to detect the one that is causing the conflict. So now we are in the plugin folder of that very site that I'm working on. So I have to locate or search for um, the plugin. So these are various plugins that I've um, installed on my site. So as you can see, this is a very um, folder that we are looking for. So now what, um, in order to disable this um, um, plugin folder, the thing you have to do is to, you have to rename it. Yes, I have to rename it to any name of your choice, but to make it more easier, it's best that you maybe add um, a number to the last one, maybe like one, two, or whatsoever. So now let me try and see. To rename this folder, you have to um, type, click on the folder and right click, then you see rename. So I have to click on rename. So it asks to yes, name this file. So now let me just add one to it. So after finishing naming it, I will now click on rename files. As you can see, so um, the file has been renamed. See, it's just luxurious. Okay, yes, this is it. It has been renamed. So now let us now see if this um if this very site that I'm working on will now load as in if the admin page will now load. So now let me refresh. I'm trying to refresh and see if it will open at this time. trying to refresh as you can see automatically I've been logged into that site as you can see so you can you can see how easy it is to um, bypass the process of trying to log into your admin dashboard in order to disable your um, the WordPress plugin that is causing conflict to your site so I've logged into my um, WordPress site so now let me go to the installed plugin and see if it has been disabled or how it appears at the moment. Now I'm scrolling to the plugins that I've installed. As you can see, it is now deactivated. Rank my SEO is now deactivated. So if I want to activate it back, I will have to click activate. But one thing sure is that the problem will still persist. So in order to override this, in order to override this, I can um, I can revert back to an older version of Ragman SEO that is working perfectly on my site, but in that in that case, it might be um, it might still the problem might still arise. So it is best that once you deactivated it, the next option is to delete it completely. So you can see how easy it is to um, log into your cPanel and also disable the plugin that is causing conflict on your site. So if you like this video, I encourage you to hit the like button. And also, you can kindly share this video for people who are facing such problems to actually overcome it with ease. It is as simple as ABC. So, like I said, Login Protect is the name of this channel. And Chibuzagwa is my name. So, if you're here to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. And also, turn on the bell notification for more tutorial videos. So, once you've done that, sit back, relax, and we'll meet in my next video. So, bye-bye for now.